It's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about controlling a 12 volt simple relay with the help of AT51. The programming language which we are using is the assembly language. So first we will open our Proteus file and then we will search for our AT51. AT51 and AT9C51 are just the same, so you can use any of them. So this is our AT9C51 microcontroller. It has four GPIO ports, each of one is having eight pins. And no need of attaching any sort of external oscillator with this microcontroller at this stage and also no need of any sort of power connections so after taking this microcontroller we will go towards our what's called as the programming software so the programming software which we are using is key okay now first we will go to our project and we will create new microvision project we will write here Final B, this is our project, and we need to save it in the G drive. Sorry, it's a F, so so F drive. So we need to save it out. Okay, here we need to give the name of the microcontroller. So it is 89C51 microchip, and then press OK. So our project is created now there is one subfolder named as the target one and also one sub subfolder source group one so we need to right click on this sub folder that is source group one and click on add new item to group source one and here we have a some file option so we can give any sort of name you can write any name of your own choice so we will write good okay this is the name of the file now we need to add it okay now in the source group we have this good.asm file okay now uh, i will paste my code here okay now there are two main parts one is the delay function or delay subroutine which which is used to create delay i am not going into the uh, complexities of this delay function just uh, for your information it will just create delay whenever it is called here a call delay command is calling this delay and then it will create its uh, delay like uh, 0 0.5 seconds or 0 0.3 or whatsoever so that's why we used to call it twice so that we can get more delay okay so now there is command first command that is move p1 comma h00h simply it means that we need to directly send 00h to port 1 move is for to sending this data into the port 1 so what it means 00h means double zero double zero double zero and double zero means that all the eight bits are zero and they are being sent to p1 then 001H, it means that all these seven bits are zero, but one bit needs to be one, the first one, okay? Then move command will send it to the P1, that is port one, and A call delay will create delay. S jump big simply means that S jump means jump on big, big label. So so this is big label. So it will it will after after reaching here the control will move again to the top and execute all this again and again so hopefully you got this concept so now we will run it we need to click on source group one and build target okay also on target we need to go to options for target one and output and here check this dot hex file okay now we will for build target and again build target 
our hex file is created that is zero errors and three warnings so now we need to go to our this pc location of the hex file this app and objects and here we have our hex file okay c object file is just like the hex file so if it is dot hex or c object file we need to open it okay like this and here we can see that one of our pen is like uh, it's uh, like on and off it's uh, again like on and off so we need to take one transistor for relay so we will go and we will write npm a generic transistor so we can take it out okay. let's stop it we need to connect the base of the transistor with the corresponding pin that is pin pin 0 of port 1 after it we need to take one power source and it's it must be of 12 volt because our our relay is of 12 volt so we need to write here as 12 volt again go and take the relay animated because we want to see the switching a lot of things used to operate on relay because we cannot operate it directly on transistor or or microcontroller pin so that's why we need to take this relay okay now this is our relay okay we, we can take this all this to this side so yeah okay like this okay now we need to run it and now you can see that our relay is working properly so now hopefully you got the concept how to interface a relay with the AT51 microcontroller with the help of assembly language. So thanks for visiting our channel.